So we're just going to go through our um, eighth move or last move in this um, Hypno Yoga Pilates Qigong sequence, um, <clears throat> a mixture of the breaths. And this one is called Shake the Back Seven Times to Eliminate the Hundred Illnesses. Good name there. Um, again, the meridians, this generally benefits within the traditional form that is are the um, basically the liver the lungs but as with the bending aspects of the Qigong exercises or whether it is yoga even um, believed to help the kidneys and the urinary bladder tract um, that's more than meridians and the organs it's benefiting I'm gonna forget that because that's more traditional form we're just taking the movement because it's such good movement um, the name from the eight brocades, that's where it's taken from, means silken movement pretty much. So there's such good movements and basically Pilates and yoga, whatever body system it is, you take that into everyday life, into everyday movement. So why not take it to Qigong movement? Um, again, it's just a move and we're just adding these breaths in with it. We're going to calibrate and synchronise the breath. So with that, we're going to simply start with a party's breath, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals, take your navel towards your spine. And as you do that, <clears throat> you can even get the two middle fingers to start underneath the breastbone. And you'll see this, I'm overemphasizing this, but this will happen. Even if it's in a micro move, you'll feel these two middle fingers slightly part and come back to touch each other. Okay, just adding width to the lungs. As you do that now, you'll feel that. Coming into these lower lobes of lungs, as we zip up pelvic floor and scoop out the abdominals in breathe, that's gonna help us breathe anywhere but the belly button, unlike the traditional form, which is more meditative, etc., massaging organs. We are throwing on our corset muscle, three layers deep, which is all gonna segmentally stabilize the spine. And that what's, that's what makes this Pilates. And we're going to just close the mouth. Unlike the Pilates breath, we're going to breathe in through the nose now. And exhale through the nose. So that makes that slightly yogic, near a sort of Ashtanga yoga in a way. That there's some slight differences there, but I'm going to go too much into that detail. But we're going to zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals. As you do that now, you can feel the breath coming in and out through the nose. And that's a smaller filter for the nose. So that'll slightly make that sort of filtering, cleansing breath. Okay. And as you feel that breath go in and go out, you'll naturally feel the out breath just naturally want to fall longer than the in breath. Okay. So just focus on that now. Zip up pelvic floor now and gathering. Take the navel, navel towards the spine, breathing through the nose and exhale through the nose. And as you zip up pelvic floor and gather in now, you'll feel the breath coming in and out through the nose, but naturally lengthen on the out breath. And that makes that more hypnotic breath. The in breath's conscious thought, the out breath is subconscious thought. So by extending the out breath longer than the in breath, we're just encouraging sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation, all in that lovely, elongated out breath now that is good enough when we're gonna when we link that to the motion in a minute that's gonna be fine again you've got your yogic principles in there your hypnotic principles of length of the out breath longer than the in breath but also you've got a Pilates set up now if you want to take make that a little bit sort of more advanced type yogic breath and bring in a ujjayi breath which is more like you use in ashtanga like i was saying earlier and they actually gather in here, but in, there's some other differences, but I'm not gonna go into detail, um, I digress. So again, if you wanna go for the Ujjayi breath, we're gripping the esophagus, we're breathing through the nose now. And exhale. As if you're sort of going, ah, with the mouth shut. And you're gonna breathe in again, so I'm gonna just do it so you can hear it, so it's a, uh, Thank you. 
sort of like raspberry, silky, whistling, ujjayi breath, victorious breath. Okay, that helps us stimulate the thyroid glands, which helps us weight control, etc. Helps us build the heat within the body. Helps us fan the fire to burn all the toxins in the body. As you do that now, you'll feel that breath. You want to lengthen even longer as you're doing that. It's you know, sort of Darth Vader breath in a way. That soft, silky, whistling, ujjayi breath. As you do that now, you'll feel that want to lengthen longer then the in breath. Okay, so as you do that now, breathing through the nose and exhale through pursed lips. Sorry, Pilates there. I digress, I've been doing Pilates. So again, we wanna close the mouth and do it out through the nose for as long as you like, okay? With that Ujjayi breath, if you can't get it, don't worry. We're gonna link that to motion before making more mistakes. So again, we're gonna link that to motion. Keep on breathing out through the nose. Again, we're gonna go through the motion. It's pretty much a bit of flexion and extension, like a Uttanasana from yoga. We're coming back doing a bit of extension here, and there's a little bit of a hop in the hills. Then we go back, that basically is what it is. Now again, you can bring in some modifications with that. You can bend the legs a little bit more. As long as you, I wouldn't personally let the knees go past the toes. The eye angle principles I'll bring in there. Again, two subjects there, but again, I would personally not go further than the knees and on the toes. You might wanna go that deep, that's fine. Feet slightly wider than hip width apart. That'll make it, again, easier on the lumbar region of the spine as well bending the knees. Okay, so that's up to you. If you've got any sort of back problems, then you can do that. You can modify it. With the extension, I've added a modification anyway, unlike the traditional form. You come back here. Now again, not everyone can do that, um, especially if you've had back problems, etc. So I would spread the fingers and go here. Okay, and just lean back slightly. Again, if it's less than that, less than that. Really important bit, I think, for it, especially if you've got any back problems. When you do the hop on the heels, I wouldn't do it back here. Okay, that's what I wouldn't do. Okay, I would literally come back after the in-breath, stop for a bit of space, then hop. Again, the idea of that little hop within the traditional form is to shake up all the chi, this, like sort of shaking up sediment in the body and just dispersing that around the body. But again, we're sticking to these principles. So just get that breath going and I'm gonna go back and demonstrate so you can see my legs. Okay, gonna go back and demonstrate as we calibrate and synchronize and integrate the breath with the movement, motion, the movement. Okay, lovely. So we'll go back and demonstrate that. Gonna turn that light on. So from here, I'm gonna start modified feet here wide. And again, the first one, hands on the back here. So again, we're gonna just come back here, gonna breathe in, hop and exhale down. So let's just go to the first part. We're gonna exhale down, flexion of the spine. Now again, I'm bending the knees and I've got the feet wider, just to make it easier on the lumbar region of the spine. Okay, you, if you wanna make that harder, I'll go for that in a minute. So you're gonna exhale down. And breathing come up. Now again, in the form we haven't got this, we just lean back. But I'm going to do that, spread the fingers here to support the lumbar region of the spine. On the, all on the in-breath, that goes with the in-breath. That does actually go with the spine. You see, stretch these abs, the rectus abdominis here, okay, which gets very compressed. And come back first. Shoulders and arm, the hips, head and arm, the shoulders. On the heels, and that carries the exhale down. Okay, if you want the knees bent, you can do, and feet slightly wide. Then breathing, come up. Exhale, now again, if you wanna make that a little bit more harder, you're not worried about the back, whatever, um, feet together, and less bend in the knees, but never completely locked. Always just shy of locking out. Okay, so from here, we're gonna exhale down. And then breathing, come up. Okay, so we're gonna breathing, come up. Lean 
lean back. Again, gather in here as you lean back especially from that corset that support the spine. If it's just that much, that much. Again, modify the range. Spread the fingers and exhale. Elongate the out breath on this bar. Then breathing, come up. Hop on the heels and exhale down. Now, the elongated out breath part, you'll just naturally do that on the motion. So you'll lengthen the motion. If you get down there before the breath's finished, carry on with the exhale and then breathing come up a little bit sharper but again i think it's important important if you've got any sort of you know disc problems or any back problems this is meant to be light stuff for people coming back through injuries etc as well so again you don't want to be back here support the back and you do that all on the in breath so as you're coming up you're breathing and coming up that goes that goes with breathing extension on the spine anyway Come back first, okay? Don't go, don't do the hop back here. Exhale, and that's gonna carry on the exhale. That sort of fires the exhale, um, and it's optional. Also, that hop in the heels, you know, you could be just exploit the range. It could be a little motion, or it could be a bigger motion. You know, optional to you. But take that navel towards the spine, scoop out your abdominals, and just elongate the exhale, and just simply calibrate and synchronize and integrate the breath of the motion. And don't get too caught up in what it is. It's meant to do this organ, etc. Because just breathing in, organ deep, cell deep, will just help that, or, or just help that manifest in every single organ, cell, sinew of the body. So every organ, cell, sinew of the body will be benefited in that beneficial way. Lovely. So that was number eight. That's the end. Bang.